Welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, December 31st, 2023. For our junior students, ages 9 to 11, I do not own the rights to this music. Today's Bible basis is coming out of Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 38. The title of today's story, Destined for Greatness. Rudy's grandmother rose up in her hospital bed. I'm so glad you came, she said. It's been a long time. I was just waiting to see you. Dad nudged Rudy close to the grandma. All the machines and wires looked kind of scary. Rudy, you don't need to worry. I'm excited about moving on to my heavenly home. Grandma said, whenever God is ready, I'll be happy to meet him face to face. In the meantime, I'm especially happy to see you. I've waited a long time to share a special message with you. Did you know I started writing a letter to you the day you were born? Every year as I watched you grow, I added a few lines. I pray for you constantly. And now I'm ready to give you this message. You are loved by God and God has great plans for you. I just know it. You can read for yourself what God placed on my heart to tell you. You can read some of the prayers I've prayed over the years. Rudy felt Grandma's wrinkled hand as she moved the large brown envelope into his strong hands. He gazed into her sparkling eyes. She looked so excited. Rudy wondered what she wrote. His fears melted as he closed his eyes and hugged Grandma. How might Grandma have felt all these years as she prayed for Rudy? If you were Rudy, what would you be thinking when you opened the envelope? What do you think Grandma meant when she said God had great plans for Rudy? And what great plans might God have for you? Recall a time you waited for something important to happen. How did you feel? Were you anxious? Did you wonder if it would ever happen? Our patience is tested when we must wait for a week, a day, or even a few minutes. Imagine waiting a lifetime to receive your promised event. Today, we will witness an important event in the lives of Simeon and Anna. Our lesson scripture, Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 38. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms, and blessed God, and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles in the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one, Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Aser. She was of a great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all them that look for redemption in Jerusalem. 
Simeon was a godly man. The scriptures tell us he was righteous and devout. His focus must have been completely on bringing glory to God. He knew the scriptures and he waited for the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy. A Messiah was coming. In fact, the Holy Spirit had revealed to Simeon he would meet the Savior before he died. What a promise! Led by the Holy Spirit, Simeon took Jesus in his arms and prophesied God's word. He praised God, quoting words from Isaiah. His words about Jesus amazed Mary and Joseph. Finally, he proclaimed the destiny of Jesus. Like Simeon, the prophetess Anna recognized Jesus as Savior. She immediately began praising God and telling everyone. Today's memory verse. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. And that's Luke chapter 2, verses 30 to 31. This next activity requires pen, pencil, crayon, or, and paper. Just like Simeon and Anna, God wants our life to focus. He wants our life focus to be on him. Write three sentences describing what you can do to live a righteous and devout life that is pleasing to God. In what ways would your parents be amazed if they saw you putting these plans into practice? Simeon's prayer in Luke chapter 2 verses 29 through 32 declared that Jesus' salvation is available to all people. Your challenge this week is to ask God to show you friends and family who need to receive salvation. Ask God to help you share the gospel with your friends. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.